All right, uh, is this a chip of the day or a thing of the day? I think this is a thing of the day. Thing of the day is a motion sensor <laughs> of sorts. Um, it is, I got a little bag of them here because they're so, so cheap. Uh, it's a funny little, uh, it looks like a plastic tube with something inside and two leads coming out of it. Um, I'll show you a close up here. It's a spring and it ends up being a switch. So if you, if you uh, tap it, uh, the little spring will vibrate, it'll move, and it'll uh, contact that center conductor every once in a while and uh, complete the contact and will detect motion. All right, so uh, let's hook one up and see how it operates. All right, I've got one here on the breadboard. It is uh, one side's connected to ground and the other side is connected to plus five with a um, 10K resistor, okay? And we will monitor the output with a 10K resistor. All right, uh, so I'm monitoring, um, monitoring the switch and whenever it makes contact to uh, the ground, remember it's being pulled up, but it's normally high. And then when I uh, touch the switch, it is going to uh, give us a falling edge and uh, a whole bunch of bounces and stuff. So we have to, we have to be worried about all that stuff. So we would need to, uh, probably when we wanted to use this thing, we could just use it as an input to a, um, input to a uh, interrupt routine uh, where we really don't care about the bounces. We just need to catch that one interrupt. Um, or we need to run it into some type of uh, flip-flop, um, maybe catch it or uh, some type of pulse, uh, monostable pulse, uh, retriggerable one shot or something like that, 555 timer. So yeah, uh, it is interesting all the little, all the little bounces. Um, so I have a 7474 flip flop over here. I'm just gonna use the set preset. I'm not gonna use the clock input. I'm not gonna use the uh, D input. I'm just gonna say, you can have a, a preset that sets it high or a clear that sets it low. And uh, you could just have it sit there waiting for a signal. Let's say it's preset high, you're waiting for a clear, and then it'll finally, it'll finally uh, change state uh, on your clock. And then you will get a signal that looks something like this. No, I'm not gonna give you a schematic. No, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> Learn all about flip-flops. Um, so when we have this here, it's gonna catch that first uh, falling edge and it's going to change the state of that flip-flop and um, it is going to then, then hold it. And we can zoom in on that edge and you can see that uh, uh, we have an event and then there's some delay in the flip-flop before it can change states, right? That's, that's some type of propagation delay or some type of delay in the part. And uh, we are looking at about 20, about 30, uh, 30 nanoseconds of delay before uh, it sees that actual edge and changes state. So, but I, uh, this is an old 74, this is a standard 7474 TTL part, so it's quite slow. Uh, it took about uh, 30, 30 nanoseconds for it to change state. Um, but it would, uh, it would stay high, all right? And uh, if I uh, clear, clear the flip flop, all right? And, uh, we run it again, I'm sorry, here, and it waits for a trigger. There we go, and it fires again. Um, so yeah, real nice. Okay, thing of the day, little uh, funny little spring uh, switches, the uh, movement sensors.